Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. We begin tonight with that child rushed to the hospital after an illegal device exploded in his hands. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis joins us now from Summerdale. And Kimberly, what did you find out about the extent of the child's injuries? Yuki and Jessica, that child was rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. Police tell us he's lost at least one of his fingers, and eyewitnesses who were here when it all happened say it was a very traumatic scene. The boy, he flew in the air past the, this black gate, higher in the air. Eyewitnesses describe the moment an illegal explosive device exploded in a 12 year old boy's hands just before six Monday evening in Northeast Philadelphia. Everybody was just in shock, and you know, everybody just wanted to make sure he was okay. So was all the kid. older kids at the park. Um, ran him to his mother. The explosion happened in the field of Houseman Recreation Center. The child is now at St. Christopher's Hospital for children being treated. According to police, the boy lost at least one finger during the explosion and suffered serious injuries to his palm and knuckles. We're getting information that this 12 year old lit the fuse when the device did not explode. The 12 year old boy then picked it back up and that's when it did explode. He was airborne because he's small and petite and skinny, so he flew. Just last week, a nine-year-old girl lost nearly all her fingers when an improvised device exploded in her hands. Those in the Northeast Philly neighborhood are hoping tragedies like this can be prevented. We just really want to raise awareness, make sure everyone is keeping an eye on their kids, making sure they don't get access to lighters. When we showed up to the scene, it was very bloody, but doctors believe he will survive. Police also believe someone is illegally manufacturing and selling these devices. We're live in Northeast Philadelphia. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Kim, thank you.